Hello, my name is Mark Aldrit, and I'm the developer of Script Debugger. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate Script Debugger's AppleScript Objective-C code completion features. Before we begin, there are some details. The Use Framework statements in your script tell Script Debugger which code completions to offer. For instance, if you use the Foundation Framework, Script Debugger will include Foundations identifiers in the completions it offers to you. I'll begin with a simple example and create an in a string object. You'll see here that Script Debugger has inserted current application for us. Now I've made an error of case. Identifiers in AppleScript Objective C are case sensitive. However, if I use command completion, you can see that the error in case is corrected for us. And Script Debugger has provided a placeholder for the parameter. As an aside, you'll notice that the result of this statement is the string hello. Unlike the script editor, which would show you a binary pointer to the object, Script Debugger shows you what the object contains. Next, I'll create a slightly more complex script. This time, I'm going to read the contents of a file, find some text within it, and extract a substring. So once again, Script Debugger has inserted current application for us and provided placeholders for the parameters. So I'll put in the path to the file. And we'll specify the encoding. Uh, current application has been inserted for us and you'll notice that parentheses have been placed around this expression to avoid syntax errors. Additionally, Script Debugger has escaped identifiers that would collide with other AppleScript terms. In this case, the word error, which is a reserved word. But Script Debugger will also escape other terms coming from scripting editions and application terminologies. So now we have the contents of the file. We've located the string. Now let's extract a substring. And so finally, we read the file, find the text, and extract a substring. To review, Script Debugger has inserted current application for us, has provided placeholders for parameters, has escaped identifiers that would cause terminology collisions, and wrapped expressions in parentheses where needed. Another area where Script Debugger can help is to reduce clutter in AppleScript Objective-C scripts. I'll recreate this first line, but this time I'll turn on a feature called Use Properties for Cocoa Terms. This time you'll notice that Script Debugger has created a property for NSString, allowing us to use the term NSString inside our code without the current application reference. And Script Debugger has created a property for UTF-8 string and allowing us to avoid having to say current application inside our code. One last thing Script Debugger can do is refactor existing code to move current application references into properties. I can select a piece of text, go into the AppleScript Objective-C menu and say Mi migrate to properties in selection, and as you see, it converts all of the ap current application references into property names. So to review, Script Debugger can insert current application references for us. It can factor these references out into property definitions. It provides placeholders for parameters, ensures the case of AppleScript Objective-C identifiers is correct. It escapes terms to avoid terminology collisions. And it allows us to view AppleScript Objective-C values in their true form rather than as pointers. Thank you.